everybody. What's up? What's up? Welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with your guy, the sports judge. Well, let's get into it because UConn's Dan Hurley has been linked to the Kentucky coaching job. There were a select group of people who thought Dan Hurley would be the next head coach at Kentucky. Hurley is a name that has been circulating of him potentially leaving UConn for Kentucky to fill the job vacancy. There's been talk about him taking on a new challenge after UConn won back-to-back -back titles. The Kentucky job is one of the most challenging, demanding coaching jobs there is. And right now, Kentucky is looking for someone to replace John Calipari, who bolted for Arkansas. Hurley addressed the rumors, came out, and said he's not going in the portal so Kentucky can cross Dan Hurley off its list of candidates to replace John Calipari. It's not going to, it's not going to happen. You think Dan Hurley wants that headache? I wouldn't even consider Kentucky. I have it so good at, at Connecticut. Why would I leave? I got the best job that fits me. I'm an East Coast guy. I'm an I-95 Jersey guy. I'm close to home. I'm building a dynasty where I'm at. I'm here at UConn. I just don't understand why any coach would leave while in that situation. We see this all the time where a high profile job becomes available and big name coaches are suddenly brought into this conversation to potentially be the next replacement. And so I totally understand why Kentucky would even Consider Dan Hurley, given the job he has done at UConn, because he's been terrific at UConn. To me, the more interesting question, though, is how many more national championships can UConn win with Dan Hurley? I do think Dan Hurley is going to be around for a long time at UConn. So let's put those rumors to bed. Stay at UConn and save yourself the headache. I don't see a scenario where he leaves for Kentucky, unless, unless they throw a boatload of cash at him. I would, I would have laughed off the question too. The pie in the sky idea that Kentucky could lure Dan Hurley away from UConn isn't happening. I, I just can't picture that happening. You've won two championships back to back years. There's no need to even entertain Kentucky. You're not leaving a dynasty to restart somewhere else. I mean, that would be going ass backwards. That doesn't even make any sense. It, it, it doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, unless Kentucky, again, writes him a big-ass check, then maybe. Maybe I might consider. I don't know. If, if Hurley was actually open to accepting a new role, it wouldn't be Kentucky. Would it be? I don't know. Money talks and BS walks, as we all know. Kentucky would be uh, hard to turn down if that Brinks truck backs up in his driveway. I wouldn't be shocked if they throw out the biggest contract in college coaching history. And Kentucky has deep pockets. Coaches do lie. Don't always believe what they tell you. Ne never say never. And if Hurley keeps winning... If and when the landscape changes, there will always be a Power 5 job available for Hurley. There's no reason for him to leave UConn at this moment. If it's not a school that's significantly better, why leave a situation where he's maintained winning at, at the highest level? And as of right now, I think he stays put. I think he is satisfied where he is now. UConn is a much better program. Than Kentucky right now. Kentucky's in shambles. You're a powerhouse right now. Your NIL money is going to go up. Kentucky, meanwhile, is no longer Kentucky. The program has lost its its aura, it, its mystique. No way should Dan Hurley leave UConn for Kentucky.